In this episode of Air Arms TV, I'm out giving my new Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter a test run in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. With my new rifle, I'm planning on doing some pest control for the local farmer, while also taking a few game birds for the pot. This time on Air Arms TV, I'm out on the coastal belt of the Eastern Cape, hunting on a local horse farm. The farmer has asked us to come out here and take care of some of these pest birds that are making a nuisance of themselves on the property. He has also told us that there are some good eating birds here, so we're going to be looking for both. Well, it looks like a great day for hunting today. We're looking at a bit of a mixed bag. We're going to be looking for some birds for the pot, as well as doing some pest control. So hopefully we're going to get a whole lot of those birds down. Let's get hunting. The red-necked Franklin is a very popular game bird found across Sub-Sahara Africa. These birds can grow up to 38 centimeters in length and weigh around half a kilogram when fully grown. This species often feeds on roots, insects and seeds. We'll definitely keep an eye out for the Franklin today, but right now I can hear the guinea fowl calling. There's a lot of guinea fowl here, but they're in and out of the bushes. So let's see if we can find some cover, sneak around, get the shot done. Let's do it. The guinea fowl on this property can be really wary, so you have to use every kind of advantage you can get. Right now this tree is perfect. Yeah, they're there, they're right here. But they're moving into the bush, let's go quick. I have to take him sitting down. <laughs> yes. Man, that was awesome. Oh, that's an awesome way to start the day. That's great, man. Yo, the sun's coming up and the guinea fowl are just all over the place here. We can just hear them every nook and cranny. It's going to be a good day today. Let's go. Let's go get them. Okay, look at that. Oh, what an awesome guinea fowl to start the day. This is such an awesome bird to hunt, especially walk and stalk. I tell you, they have got extremely sharp eyesight, excellent runners, and they're in and out of the bush. I tell you, we're going to have a good day with this species. I just know it, I can hear them all over. And, uh, whoa. There's no ways we're going to turn it down. Every opportunity, we're going for it. So let's get out there, let's keep hunting, see if we can get some more of these along the way. I just love this property so much this time of year. Everything comes alive and it feels like there are birds everywhere. I know it won't be long and I'll bump into some more, but right now, I'm just enjoying the scenery. Another nice flock of guinea fowl and I've got to take the chance here. I can hear them. They're just... I've got to make sure to move slow here. They're just around the corner and I don't want to get busted. There they are. There. It's a flock of them. We're too exposed. We're going to have to move around. Come, come, come. I have to play my cards right here. They're out in the open and I know I can get a shot if I can just get the right position. Yeah, okay, that's great. There's two of them. Okay, we just gotta sneak around this bush here. Might have to take them off the shoulder, right? Okay, it's gonna be quick, eh? Let's go. Yeah, it is so cool when you can outplay them like that. I just knew if we had enough cover along the edge here and I was able to sneak over, oh, straight down. Let's go get him. Okay, there he is. Man, look at that. Another really good size one. That is great. 
Man, that's beautiful, eh? I tell you, I never, ever get tired of hunting this game bird. Man, and there are so many on this property. It's just freaking awesome. Well, another good one in the bag. Now, hopefully, we're going to find a whole lot more. I can hear them in the distance. We're going to make our way up over the rise to the fields at the back, and hopefully, we'll find some more there. So, let's keep hunting. Anyway, I'm moving further on down the farm and into some pastures the farmer has been telling me about. I hope to see a few more birds here and get some more meat for the pot. I want to try and maintain cover. When I'm in the field, I like to stay in the zone and be ready for anything that might pop up. Oh, I, can, I can hear them. I think I just hear. Yeah, there's just one there, just one. The rest have moved into the bush. Okay, get ready. Okay. Whew, the rest of them scampered into the bush. I thought he was gonna follow, but he just stayed a little bit too long. Just goes to show you have to listen in the bush. I could hear them from a distance, and we were getting closer and closer, and and it's unlucky for that species, their calling just gives them away completely. And unfortunately for this one, he stayed just a little bit too long. Sure, straight down, let's go get him. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Another nice skinny fell. Man, I cannot believe how many of these there are on this farm. That is awesome, man. Another one for the pot. <laughs> Let's keep hunting. Well, I'm sure by now you guys have noticed that on today's hunt, I'm using a brand new air rifle. The latest Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter XS. And let me tell you guys, this is an absolutely brilliant rifle. Some of the features that I'm really enjoying about it are the fully adjustable cheek piece and butt pad. I also really love the 10 shot magazine, which is controlled by the smooth lever action, allowing me to make quick consecutive shots. The rifle has an impressive full pressure of 250 bar, allowing you to get up to 120 shots per full on low power and 35 shots on full power. The Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter XS also comes in three different versions, the carbon, rifle and extra. And if the black soft touch is not your cup of tea, then Air Arms also offers the walnut and laminated stock options. And the feature that I'm super pumped about on this new model is the regulated precision action system keeping your shot power consistent throughout your tanks full. Exactly what I need in this run and gun quick action hunting. So definitely one of the best rifles that I've used hunting to date and hopefully one that's going to get me a whole lot more birds today. So let's keep hunting. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I can see a couple there. They look like Franklin. Come, come, come. Yeah, they're just on the edge of the bush there. Yeah, they're definitely Franklin. There's two and they're feeding just on the edge of the bush line. There's a lot of ground to cover, but if we go down on the dip, use that dead ground and sneak up over, we could get a shot. So let's go, let's try it, let's go. These rolling hills are giving me the advantage I need. By using them, I have full cover, allowing me to get close enough for the shot. Oh, there they are. We're going to have to crawl. Go down. They haven't noticed me yet. 
I've managed to make it this far and the terrain is definitely in my favor. All right, there he is, hang on. Yo, that was a cool stalk. Man, I just knew if we had this dead ground to work with, we'd make it. I don't think they saw us at all, man. They were in and out of the bush line. Managed to get the one, the other one stayed. Boom, straight down. <laughs> yeah, let's go check them out. All right, that is cool, man. Check at that. <laughs> they both fell right next to each other. Wow, the Franklin are out today. Check at this. Wow, have a look at that. Hey, sure. That is awesome. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Impressive birds. I tell you what, we are going to have a feast tonight. Another two excellent representatives of the species of men are we're going to eat good tonight. I tell you, we've had a great show. Starting out early this morning with a great guinea fowl shot. And it just seemed from there onwards it was birds, birds and more birds. This time of year has been absolutely fantastic hunting on this property. There seems to be a whole plethora of different types of species to hunt. And to end the show with two wonderful Franklin like this, what a great episode, what an awesome day's hunting. Guys, thanks for joining us on Airworms TV. We'll see you guys next time.